elephants are gentle giants who feel a vast array of emotions just like humans. This herd of elephants always lined up just to hug this woman before going off about their day. People always wondered about the reason for this peculiar behavior, and when they found out, they were left speechless. Daphne Hankins was born on a large farm for timber operations outside the village of Gilgil, Kenya. When she was six, she visited her father in the natural reserve where he worked, and after seeing how incredible it was to be around all kinds of beautiful and majestic creatures all day, the young girl decided that she wanted to spend her future living among animals and learning about them. Daphne was educated at the Nakuru Primary School and the Kenya High School for Girls. The brilliant young lady graduated among the top of her class and was offered a medical scholarship, but she declined it to marry her high school sweetheart, William. Unsurprisingly, her husband worked at the Savo National Park as an assistant warden. This is also where she happened to meet her second husband, the founding warden of the park, David Sheldrick. Daphne and high school sweetheart William parted ways after only a few years of marriage. Sometime after her divorce from her first husband, she became good friends with David and later married him. David had always admired Daphne's passion for the animals and also how incredibly knowledgeable she was about nature. It wasn't long before she became co-warden of the reserve. Working there and looking after various wildlife animals was like a dream come true for Daphne. In her spare time, she wrote stories that she would read every night to her husband and her daughter, Jill, the sweet little girl she had had with William. The newly married couple cared for all kinds of animals. They taught them useful skills and nurtured them until they were mature enough to be reintroduced into the wild. Daphne and David helped save a lot of wild animals, especially elephants, who had been orphaned after their parents had been killed by drought, disease, and most commonly, poachers, who hunted these animals to sell their tusks in the notorious ivory trade. After 17 blissful years of marriage, Daphne lost her husband to a heart attack. It was difficult for the bereaved woman to continue with their mission after David's death. She took some time off to grieve and was so hurt that she thought that she was going to step down from her job at the reserve and only write children's books for the rest of her life. She couldn't bear to walk around the park without David, but she still had her duties to perform. The animals were counting on her. One day, during a visit to the park, she saw a newly orphaned elephant brought in. That poor baby had just lost its entire family and was struggling to adapt to its new life. At that moment, Daphne realized that while she still had her family to rely on, the elephant was all alone in the world. She couldn't abandon it too. She had to go back to work. The inspired woman came back with a renewed zeal to keep her and David's legacy as a couple. Daphne Sheldrick set up the Sheldrick Trust in Nairobi National Park, focusing on elephants and rhinoceroses. With the help of her daughters, Jill, from her first marriage, and Angela, from her second marriage, she continued to provide care for the orphaned animals. Over the years, Daphne became popular for her work at the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust and even went on to receive one of the highest Kenyan awards for her career. She was also made a Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire by Queen Elizabeth II. Daphne also lent her voice to advocate for a total global ban on ivory, as this was a major drive for the killing of elephants and rhinos for their tusks. As the years went by, the threats to the elephant's existence increased significantly. More adults were being killed and most orphan babies died without their families. Daphne tried her best to take care of all orphaned elephants they could find around the region, but even with all her resources, she couldn't save them all. These orphaned elephants were often stuck in mud near watering holes or wounded by predators. Daphne treated them like human babies. Each elephant had its own stall and a handler assigned to it. The animals were constantly looked after and were given blankets, rain jackets, and even rubbed with sunscreen on their ears in their first few months of life. Their handlers had to be constantly changed to prevent overdependence. There was a time when an elephant became too attached to Daphne, so much so that when she traveled for two weeks, it refused to eat and almost died from grief, thinking that its new best friend had left forever. She knew it couldn't happen again, but kept falling in love with those gentle giants. 
The animal custodian was never afraid to get her hands and entire body dirty as she played with the animals in the mud and cared for them. There were times when she would comfort infants who woke up screaming from their sleep. She believed that they had nightmares from their traumatic experiences and would always hold them to comfort them. This line of work did not come without its own dangers. On one occasion, Miss Sheldrick was approached by an adult elephant who she thought was an old friend. Daphne mistook the elephant for Eleanor, who she had raised some 40 years back and who often left its herd to come say hello. She was happy to see the elephant and moved closer to caress its chin. The elated woman was beyond surprised when the elephant stepped backwards and hit her with its trunk, sending her flying some meters away. She lay there scared for her life when the animal approached her, but instead of crushing her, it put its tusks under her and tried to help her up. It seemed as though the animal had realized its mistake and tried to apologize, as it would do with its own child. As we said, elephants are some of the most intelligent and sweet creatures on the planet. Despite her many efforts at caring for the animals, she couldn't stop some orphaned elephants from dying. These elephants were most often brought in traumatized and still milk dependent. Without the mothers present, it was difficult to keep the infants alive and well fed. She would give them traditional milk formulas and though at first they seemed to enjoy it, they would remain malnourished and fade into death. Determined to stop these deaths, the late warden's wife spent most of her days researching and trying out different milk combinations. She worked alongside nutrition experts to find a safe solution to reverse that sad trend. She couldn't bear to see them die after the harrowing experiences they witnessed with their parents, and yet she was frequently forced to watch as they slipped away. One of such times was when Amber, a young elephant, was brought in after her father and mother were killed by poachers before her eyes. A kind man rescued her and brought her to the national park. Much as Daphne was moved by the elephant's story and wanted to help her, she could not do much when Amber remained malnourished despite the gallons of milk she was being fed. When the young elephant passed away, Daphne was devastated. However, the many failures and disappointments did not stop the tenacious woman from trying. Her breakthrough finally came after 28 years of efforts, when she came across a milk formula from Europe that contained coconut milk. This was found to be the closest substitute for the fat in elephant milk, and thankfully was also pretty easy to come by. Daphne was the first person to perfect the milk formula for infant elephants. After this breakthrough, there was no stopping her. She became the first person to successfully raise countless infant elephants and was often called Mama Elephant by her colleagues. Her love for the animals was largely reciprocated by them. Anytime she went out to greet them, the elephants would line up to hug their human mother. Everyone marveled at their display of trust and affection towards Daphne, and the visitors of the reserve would often ask the wardens about that peculiar show. When they were told about all the sacrifices Daphne had made for the elephants, and the way she had almost single-handedly manufactured a milk formula for the infants, they would be moved to tears. In a world where people saw these animals for nothing more than their tusks and the money they could fetch them, one woman saw them for their caring qualities and recognized that they felt the same emotions as humans. When she passed away at the ripe old age of 83, the whole world told tales of the amazing Kenyan woman who made a global impact in the raising of infant elephants. The Sheldrick Wildlife Trust is now run by her daughters, who work every day to keep Mama Elephant's memory alive. What do you think of Daphne's story? Have you ever taken care of an animal who needed help and love? Tell us in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay safe.